But we've also got, uh, by the magic of Zoom, hanging on in the line, uh, the Sun's former royal editor, Charlie Ray. Uh, afternoon, Charlie. Afternoon, Kevin. Afternoon, Greg. Uh, so the, uh, the, the, the question on the desk, Charlie, let's get your take on it first. Uh, the senator for California, Dianne Feinstein, has died at the age of 90, uh, which creates a vacancy. Now, we've heard a lot about Meghan Markle's political ambitions. I mean, she fancies herself as being brilliant at everything and would no doubt see herself as an ideal president of the United States. Uh, I have my reservations about that. Uh, but uh, there's no doubt uh, she's got a high opinion of herself, Charlie, and she does fancy herself as a political powerhouse of the future, doesn't she? She does, Kevin, but unfortunately for her, she seems to be the only person who thinks she's got a political future. Uh, and she's got only one person to support her, and that's a pr that's Prince Harry, her husband, and he doesn't even have a vote in the American elections. Um, but I can tell you that her hopes have been dashed uh, to take over the seats but uh, made vacant by Diana Feinstein. Diana Feinstein, yeah. Yeah, because Gavin Newsom has picked LaFonza Butler uh, to, to, to oh, take LaFonza. over. Oh, LaFonza. We all know LaFonza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, <laughs> she's, uh, she's Why don't they the... get some proper names in America? Who calls yourself LaFonza? Uh, <laughs> that's the worst well, that's... name since that guy, uh, DeForest Kelly, the one who was in that's... Star Trek. Oh, that's right. OK, he was in Star Trek. Yeah, that's... yeah. Well, that's a stupid name as well. Uh, absolutely. Now, so, yeah, but there is a serious, Tony, I mean, Gavin Newsom uh, has been fed up because he was being plagued by phone calls with Meghan. It's been reported that he <laughs> blocked her calls. Uh, she was continually ringing him up, as she has done with a number of, as I understand it, with a number of people in the Democratic Party trying to push her political agenda, uh, none of which has come to any fruition. And it seems to me that what's happened to set the hair running is her own PR team put out and sort of suggested that she was in the running for this this seat in California, which clearly wasn't wasn't true. So she may have political ambitions and even suggestions of maybe getting into the White House. But I, with the greatest respect to Greg, you know, I mean, you guys do some really daft things over there. But I don't <laughs> think this daft. Uh, well, let's, uh, uh, I think on that bombshell, Greg, over to you. Uh, doesn't look like she's going to get uh, this uh, senatorship in California, but then again, I don't think she, that she ever was. As I understand it, there are quite a lot of, uh, shall we say, down-table people in the Democrats who rather like the idea of Me Meghan Markle because they, they think she's got some sort of popularity and pulling power. I've got bad news for them. I don't think she has. Uh, but the powers that be in the Democrat Party, shall we say, the politically astute powers that be, they don't want her in a... No, no one takes her seriously. Wait one second, Greg, because sure. uh, earlier in the day we covered uh, Trump's latest uh, legal manoeuvres. He's just leaving court now. That's in Manhattan, mm -hmm. where, as you know, he, he's facing charges of fraud for uh, faking up his own wealth in order to get... There he goes. Uh, and we got statements from him earlier on where he's dismissing this as a, a, a disgraceful show trial, the weaponizing of the legal system. Uh, we'll come back to Trump in just a second, sure. but we were talking about Meghan Markle there. I mean, she won't give up. But she's not going to get this Californian seat. But as I was saying, as I understand it, the powers that be in the Democrat Party, the more politically astute, sure. they actually, they've gauged her popularity. They don't think she's a good bet for them. She's just not serious, first of all. But also, she's not popular. Joe Biden is. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, maybe she polls well with teenage girls or something, yeah, but yeah. they don't vote. You yeah, know, at least until they're 18 anyway. Yeah, so, yeah. look, I, she's not a serious politician. She's not a serious candidate. You know, Yes, there have been actors that, that become politicians. Ronald Reagan was the, the best example, but he also worked for GE. He was the president of the union. He did radio shows. Damn good for, president, yeah, may I course, say. Yeah, of course, yeah. And, and, you know, he did a lot of radio shows, wrote his own content, you know, for years before he became the governor of California. So, you know, th this is not a serious candidate. I, it's, it's a shame we're even talking about it, but, but it, there was a dilemma. You know, wow. Newsom had a, a, a challenge. 
he, he promised to, to nominate a black woman. He did the same, made the same mistake that Biden made so in So LaFonza 2020. is a woman of color. Checks yeah. three boxes. She's also gay. And, and so, you know, he... Man, he, she's, he she's on the drive. And there, and there, <laughs> were, there were other more qualified African-American women. The problem was one or two of them are already running for that Senate seat in 2024. Right. So it would have been really uncool of him to to put one of them yeah. in the seat. It would give them such an unfair advantage and, and then right, possibly okay. put Adam, Sh Adam Schiff out of his misery, which would have been brilliant, okay. actually. Okay.